so tired so tired i think i figured out why i'm so tired and i wanted to put this in my vlog because i think a lot of people probably feel the same thing and just don't even notice and think it's normal when it's not like a lot of people in 2019 i don't really eat red meat like hardly ever really just i can't even remember last time i ate red meat i also like to work out and i mostly do cardio mostly i run if you work out a lot and you don't eat a lot of red meat or spinach leafy green vegetables you're not getting a lot of iron and it's really really easy to be iron deficient when you're iron deficient you will get so tired it happens to me just on and off if i'm working out a lot and just not eating red meat as you guys know as I've talked about in my vlog I've just had such little energy in general and have just felt like fatigued I guess for the past couple weeks uh, maybe four days ago I started taking this stuff called Floridix it's really gross this is what it looks like but a lot of people say this gives them energy if your iron is low and I'm pretty sure that's what's up with me I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know in a couple weeks if I feel like I have more energy I had motivation I just literally didn't have the energy to do things then I started taking this stuff it looks like a weird potion I'll show you guys it's called Floridix I was very skeptical about it at first because it's in this dark jar but it's actually just like kind of an orangey color and it's just made of like vegetables herbs it tastes like juice you take just a little bit like that much and I felt like a new person within a week. I'm not kidding, it's crazy. I had this issue back in December. I was so exhausted just all day and I thought I was just being lazy. I was like, Shelly, you're just like, come on, what's with you? I wasn't being lazy. I just was not a nourished human being getting the nutrients I need. So weird. And that's kind of how I still feel because it takes a little bit of time once I realize it and start like taking this stuff again to feel normal. So if you feel tired, because I feel like a lot of people have got to feel this way. Like so many people now are vegan. Just something to keep in mind. Okay, back to the vlog. Okay, happy Wednesday vlog. Today, I am going to go thrifting with my friend Diana. Diana is a fashion blogger, more of an Instagram. Yeah, I would say more of an Instagram blogger. I feel like <laughs> these days, like blogger just means Instagram. Yeah. Mer pretty much. I went thrifting for the first time in the past couple weeks and was like, whoa, this is awesome. Like it's actually fun. Before I was like, oh, it's like gonna smell weird and like whatever. Like when did you start thrifting? Oh my God, I've been thrifting for years. Okay. I love it. Like, yeah. It's so cool because you can find like unique pieces, you know, it's not like going to Forever 21 where you see like the same yeah. thing over and over again. So I've been working on some sort of like content marketing for Shutter. So I'm making a YouTube channel for Shutter, and Diana's in the first video. My name is Diana Cruz and I am a fashion influencer. So I started in 2016 just doing it for fun and then all of a sudden I started to get a lot of emails and like DMs from brands being like, oh hey, like we would love to partner with you and then I started to realize that this is something that I could actually do for a job. So now I do it mostly part-time. Brands will reach out to me and then I'll just create content for them. The first brand deal that I did, I did not get paid for. I just remember a brand. So all that was the first video? Yeah, I haven't yeah. shot any of them yet, but all of them are gonna be collaborations with different bloggers and influencers, so comment below anyone that you think that lives in LA or that you know that I know or maybe know. You actually almost used Shutter one time, remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I like did. couldn't quite find the right photographer. Uh -huh. That's like the one thing I'm like, dang, there's a lot of photographers, but there's still not every time like the right one exactly for the day you need. Like, did you find that it was just like, I was, looking for scheduling. Like a, I was looking for a product photographer, I remember. Yeah. And yeah, I was like scheduling, and then I feel like a lot of them were more, you know, like landscape or like yeah. model type. Yeah, lifestyle, not as much product photography. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get any product photographers, go sign up. <laughs> when you go thrifting, what do you look for, usually? I look for unique pieces. Mm -hmm. Or basics, it just depends. But I would say, for the most part, I'm looking for things that are like steals. Yeah. That no one would own. Maybe somebody owns it, but it came out like 15 years ago. Yeah. And I know that I have like a unique piece. I like looking through the old t shirts. Like, my goal, I want to find like an old like Rolling Stone shirt. I think that'd be so cool. I have yet to find it. Um, and then I like the like basic tank tops, I think always look good. You can never tell it's thrifted. Mm -hmm. So. Let's go see what we find. This skirt I actually got thrifting. Love it. Very cute. Brandy Melville. I, I straight up I bought a skirt like that from Urban Outfitters. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. 
a different yeah. color, but wow, you probably got it for like a tenth of the price. Yeah, no, seriously, it still had the tags on it. It was from Brady Melville. What? Like seven dollars. Okay. When I see something from like Forever 21, I'm like, eh, yeah. Quality's not too great anyway, unless it's like actually really cute. Okay, this is a misguided dress. It's too big for me, but it's cute. When I'm saying thrifting, I do not mean like Buffalo Exchange or Wasteland. Like that's cheating. That is not real right? thrifting. Thrifting Doesn't is count. straight up the goodwill <laughs> because things are like $3, okay? The other ones are consignments. But this is like a lot. There's a lot to go through. Banana Republic jacket, kind of cool. This one is $20 though. I feel like that's like eh. I have enough cheetah print in my life, but like this romper could be cute. I don't really like the straps of it, but if you wear a jacket, then you have like the nice like cheetah. So that's cool. Oh my God. I know, what is this? Like a it's literally a pajamas? That's funny. <laughs> An actual cheetah face. Oh, I like it. Still has a tag on it from Forever 21. Found some Adidas pants. Those are cool. 11 bucks. Yes, love that. I found this sweater. Really nice texture. I'm not sure how you say it, but the brand is Moth. I've never heard of it, so I looked it up. From anthropology. This is probably but I love like, this texture. like $75 if you go to anthropology. Seriously. But it's $6. I think, I don't know if they could see, but it's, what do you, how, what do you call this? Channel or something? <sighs> I don't know how to say it. I don't know. But it's so soft. Yeah, it's so soft. I love this. It's cute, right? Yeah. Because at first I was like, it's a little big, but it looks really good when you wear it with like this, like, more romper type situation. They have all oh, these. Let's do these retail. These for. are all definitely new because it's all the same. Look, Dude. just red shoes. They smell like brand new. Yeah, style wise, they're just okay, you know. But very, you know. Wow. I just looked up this brand, and these retail for like eighty nine bucks. How much are they here? They're nine dollars. Brand new. All right, we are back from our thrift trip. I only got one thing because honestly, that one didn't really have that much good stuff. Yeah. I was like, was mm, eh, not not the best. But yeah, I did find this cardigan. I don't know what this texture is called. I know it's spelled like C H E N I L L E. I just don't know how to say it. Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> yeah, it's like this really soft like. It's been pretty trendy this year, but it's just a black Chanel, I think, um, cardigan from Anthropology. I got it for $6.50. Really so can't cute. beat that price. $6.50. I bet you this was like $100. Oh, yeah. At Anthropology? Like, yeah. Yeah, so I actually got this really cute high-waisted houndstooth skirt That's cute right like yeah. i was thinking with like a cute like black graphic tee like a like a band tee would be cute yes. and just like doc martens do you remember you how see. much that was this one was seven and this was from a different thrifting yeah trip. this was okay, from a yeah. different thrifting um oh my oh my god and then this that looks like brand okay. new <laughs> no it really is brand new like i oh, think this what? brand this brand is Articles of Society Los Angeles, and for whatever reason, they had a bunch of clothes that were just thrown there, and they had like the tags on them. So I okay, got this jacket, cute. fifteen dollars, brand new, and I think this retails for like fifty or seventy bucks. So I feel like I did really. I really love well. it, and it's a yeah. great like basic for like every day. I was getting some serious like Midwestern vibes from yeah. this. Um, I love the just, color; it's very unique. Yeah, isn't it? And then do you remember how much this was? This this jacket was 15. Yeah, and then this one was was eight. I don't even know what this brand is, but the material is like super fun. It's kind of like velvety. Ooh. Um Yeah, this is cool. I was thinking like like graphic tee, like high-waisted jeans, like light denim with this would yeah. be super cute. Three things for about $30. That's $30. so good. And this, I'll show you guys some of the other stuff because I've spent like a hundred dollars and gotten 
so much stuff I'll I'll show you but that's today's thrifting trip what a hundred dollars can get you at a thrift store being the goodwill that's one I went to the next main channel video I'm working on is only wearing thrifted outfits for a week so if you guys want to see how I style these check that out so first we have the cardigan I already showed you guys 650 for this next I got this t-shirt it's actually an extra 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 large t-shirt but I'm gonna wear it as a t-shirt dress that says Paramount Pictures. This was $1.99. I got this skirt originally from Zara. It looks nice. It looks like something you get at Aritzia. This was $4. $4. That is it. I got this tank top. It's just from Forever 21, but it's a nice kind of material actually. And it has a little this in the back. It's just a fun burnt orange kind of color. This was $3.99. I got this blazer. This was from Forever 21 originally. But um, this one I believe was $7.50 for the blazer. I got this shirt from Brandy Melville originally. It was a bodysuit, but I cut it. This was $3.99. This is just a black dress. It was $6.50. I got these Levi jeans. These were $15.99. For these, they're just black jeans. And I actually did a little DIY myself. I made the ends kind of frayed. One of my favorite finds. I got this Madewell sweater for $6.50. Like originally I'm sure this was like $80. So yeah, nice sweater for Madewell. I really like this. $6.50, how crazy. And I got these jeans from Zara. They're just a lighter wash with, with the trendy frayed ends of the jeans. These were $15.99, which is like a little bit more pricey for the Goodwill. And I got this kind of lacy tank top. It's pretty basic, but it could look good with stuff. And this was $3.99. And then I also got for $1.99 this cool old Nike t-shirt. That's a lot of stuff. That's like, I don't even know, 15 things. I would have to count. Honestly, I got even more. I probably spent, in total, I spent $130 and I got over seven outfits. Like I got a lot of stuff. I also got this cheetah jumpsuit I love for $6.50. So got some good finds at that Goodwill. And um, stay tuned for the video soon because I think I made some pretty good outfits. Now I'm gonna fly to Seattle. I was gonna go on Friday, but my friend works for Alaska Airlines and she's able to fly me there for like 50 bucks today instead. So I was like, I'm kind of down to just go today instead because the weather is nice. I haven't been in a while. What to bring? All right. I am all ready to go. I'm bringing a ton of these shutter stickers. I'm gonna give some to Monica so she can distribute them around Seattle. <laughs> 